Hey, it's Q101 Merits Music Picks. My name is Jesse Paculat on the afternoon, and I'm joined right now by Justin. He's one of the promoters and partners over at the Element Music Festival. Hey, Justin, what's happening, man? Yeah. How are you, Jesse? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, we're not too far away from August Long Weekend now, man. No, it's coming up quickly, and we are super excited about it, and tickets are flying. So, yeah, we're, we're pumped about the whole scenario. Yeah, I've been having fun covering it here, too. I mean, I've been getting some of the bands on and doing these giveaways for the for the tickets and been having some fun with that, too. Some people seem really excited about it. That's what I, I love, um, giving those passes away. And, like, some of these people are just, they're on pins and needles waiting to get there. <laughs> it's good to see. I mean, what's better, than getting, what's better than getting free passes to a music festival, huh? That's right, man. Camping, music, and the whole weekend. It's going to be great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be some... Some swimming in the lake we have there, some hiking and biking trails on site, and there's some great fishing in the region. So, yeah, we're really excited about it. And this is going to be really our first huge event or larger event at Snug Lake Amphitheater, which is an absolutely beautiful venue. I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Yeah, I can't wait to see it myself, man. I'm definitely going to check it out. And I really love the eclectic nature of all these festivals that are happening, like there's a, there's a different music festival for like different types of music, and they're all kind of spaced between each other. I mean, there was the Bass Coast with all the electronic stuff that happened a few weeks ago. That was great. We have Rock and River coming up, and that's actually kind of the same weekend as you guys, but it's... That's your country festival, Yeah, right? it's the country festival. There's a country festival going on, and over with you guys, you got the funk festival going on. It's so cool to see, man. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great time for live music right now with all the events that are taking place all across North America. It's really awesome to see. But yeah, for for us, we are targeting something a little different. We're going for jam bands and funk, and it is that same weekend you guys have your country festival. So if, if some of the folks in town aren't necessarily fans of country music, we offer something a little bit uh, different on our end. And uh, yeah, there's there, the diversity, even within our lineup, I'm excited about. It's it's just a great time, like I said, for music and for all different sorts of genres. Yeah, have you yourself uh, been into funk for a long time now? Like, when did you kind of get introduced to that genre? Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. <laughs> um, I've been listening to funk for probably 20 years or so, and uh, came up in the Detroit area listening to a lot of Parliament Funkadelic, and over the years became close, actually, with Bernie Worrell, who uh, was the keyboardist of Parliament Funkadelic, wrote Flashlight, Red Hot Mama, mm -hmm. classics. And uh, he recently passed away, actually. But before doing so, I had uh, the pleasure of having him play some funk at my wedding, and it was one of the most special moments of my life. And so funk for me is, is very deep-rooted in, in, the, in the kind of music I listen to and, and uh, yeah, the kind of person I am, too. I like to consider myself a little funky. <laughs> How did, how did you, like, how were you first introduced to funk? How did you, how did you know that you liked it? Yeah, I think for me it was just the, there's great rhythms and just a great groove to it. It was, you know, different than a lot of the, let's say, southern rock and, uh, you know, some of the acoustic stuff that I was exposed to at the time. But, uh, you know, living in the Detroit area, it was a pretty prominent region for funk music. Yeah, it has a really raw sound to it. And I guess growing up in Detroit, you were probably a fan of Motown as well, eh? Oh, absolutely. Mm. I mean, absolutely. I think most people that come out of the Detroit area find that to be one of our, our, proudest, uh, our proudest things, obviously, musically. But yeah, I'm excited to, to see a lot of this funk in the B.C. interior. Um, from what I understand, there's not a lot of these sort of events taking place in the interior, so I'm excited that people will have uh, some exposure to some of these bands. And you got a band like, you know, Five Alarm Funk, uh, Brick House, Big Easy Funk on, Ensemble. Those bands are all Canadian bands that folks love up there. So we're excited, to, we're excited to have all this great music. Yeah, so here's the complete lineup, too, for that weekend, just in case you were wondering. There's the Big Easy Funk Ensemble. There's Brick House. There's Genetics, Five Alarm Funk, Garage Mahal, Steve Kamak and Friends, and it's all headlined by our guests yesterday, the String Cheese Incident. Like we were mentioning, you know, if the twang isn't your thing, maybe you are more of a groovy type of person. And in that case, the Element Music Festival would be perfect for you. Come Place groove with us. <laughs> come groove with us over at the Element Music Festival, August Long Weekend. Justin, thanks for taking some time to talk with us today, man. Yeah, my absolute pleasure. And for tickets and more information, elementfestival.info.
Thanks a bunch, Jesse. I appreciate you. Thank you, man.